Hello and welcome everyone, it's Eternity. So let's continue our journey in Honkai Star Rail. Last time uh, we left off where Branya was confronting her mother. If you haven't seen that video, you can go watch it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Nope, this terminal's offline. I can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Depart and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. I was also surprised. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Okay, so these two can't move. All right, I love this little puzzles. But one thing I don't really like is following these robots because we are faster than them. Thanks for the gift. Let's continue. I'm just gonna explore a little. Well, there's not much to explore. the energy supply to the terminals I huh you know the more I think about it the more it seems deliberate with the front line on high alert they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning or prevent deserters from escaping that way even if the front line were to collapse the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Alright, I'm a little confused to be honest. Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabog. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Alright, so let's do what they ask for. Of course, it's the only way to continue the story. You can do just whatever. That's how the game works. Maybe they did that on purpose. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Ball. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on. Let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Well, she's got connections. Maybe she can get us through. Let's talk to him. Now we don't have a key. Okay. Yo, evening soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? I mean, that's the best way to start a conversation. Sorry, a conversation with a guard. Saying just, yo, what's up? <laughs> Not yet. 
Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Uh, darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key. Yeah, say that in front of him. In his face. Captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Dunn? <laughs> Why did you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. All right, let's go find him. He's got a crush on her. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Zachary, how many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Why is he acting so weird? Hmm? What did you say? I, I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment. Of all. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but. I still miss our military days playing in the band. Oh, that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major... ...your problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Uh. Well? Uh, could you be any less discreet? No. Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jafar told you? Huh? Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers should find the problem. Something like that? Or exactly like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. Well, that's not a good idea for us. What's gonna happen? Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? That can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? <sighs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you, but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. Well, Dan should think about what's more important to him impressing the girl he likes or doing his duty. At this point, I really don't know uh, what's the right move. What do you think? Leave and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the 
outsiders must remain. Anyway, my guess is that we're not gonna hear a lot about Dan later in the story. There goes negotiation. I brought you guys here and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Wait, no, don't tell me we're gonna fight. Survive. We're gonna battle? We rehearse together every day, you must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. So deep. I don't know why it just made me laugh, but it kind of sounds half deep, half ridiculous. And I think I'm gonna die. We can't auto battle, so we're gonna do it manually. Rules are made to be broken. So my characters are still not maxed out because I don't have enough uh, resources to do it. Also, I need to level up more. Let's use his ultimate. <laughs> but I use the best resources I have at the moment. To make them as strong as possible. In the name of Landau, we'll forge an ice. Never falters. Time for sword play. Strike with heart. Okay, so that's gonna be an easy win. I thought it was gonna be harder. Surval? Why? Because you're weak. He's just unconscious. Don't worry. Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it. The encryption key. Quick, before we attract attention, let's... What did you just say a moment ago? Before you what? Guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. Well, uh, I don't think we can take them all out, so yeah, it's time for the goodbye speech. You're not dead yet. How can you give up that easily? We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. Well, yes, we coulda, shoulda, woulda. <laughs> We're just gonna finish this quickly and get to where we need to go. You know what I wish they would add to the auto battle? So whenever their ultimate is ready, they're automatically using it, right? So instead imagine if when an enemy has like one line of life left and he's the only one left, it doesn't automatically use the ultimate and it waits for the next row or the next wave. How cool would that be? Okay, so we just need to go there. Let's try running past the guards. Okay, we couldn't. We got ambushed. Well, we're gonna do the best we can. How many can Name of Landau. We'll forge an ice. Never falter. Right 
We are lucky they're not strong. Or that we are stronger. Use that and open up. Are we actually gonna see the stellar one? I think it was done. That's just a speculation. Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Um, Sir Ball, won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Well, we got no choice. This doesn't look good. Oh, we started the battle already. Well, this specific creature. I don't know why, but I feel like it's really annoying to battle against him just because of these little guys that come with him and they always explode. So, like, they're very annoying. I'll see you off. Hope you're prepared. So, because they explode, we gotta get them first. Oh, thanks, Lucha. That was great. In the name of Landau, we will forged in ice. Never falters. Well, I said it was annoying, didn't I? This is our chance. So the taunt he does just makes us attack only him. It like automatically focuses us on the target. So if he had one of his little guy friends there, this little robot friends, we would attack him instead of the robot, so the robot could attack us. But that's not the case, luckily. It's gonna be over Let's soon. Go. We caught them unawares. Energy restored. System online. Certification enabled. Come on, come on. Percent. Sixty-five percent. Eighty-five percent. We did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. What's happening? Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. We can't reach a common understanding with your brother. Will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. 
I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Well, before our next expedition, I well, I do trust her. since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but I'm with you now. She is very loyal. I really trust her. It really is you. But you know what the issue is? I got your part on my team too. Are they gonna let me fight him with him? Wait, Jepard, listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. I have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every... Enough, Serval. <gasps> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Well, not everything your ancestors taught you is relevant for today. Silver main guard here. Every person here is ready to sacrifice themselves, ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. But here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone, attacking my silver main comrades in arms, hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worth the Landau name? I think your party is racist against aliens, which is as the intruders why do you think i've come here we found a way to dispel the eternal freeze to seal the fragmentum it might be the only lifeline this world has left if that were true why wouldn't you report to madame kakolia why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos you don't understand the one preventing us from getting close to the truth is kakolia herself <sighs> you have all seen the supreme guardian in person do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Jepard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. The Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architect's. Okay, so if you are speaking logically, Jepard, so she only saw us for a moment, said hello and welcome, and that's all. And from that she understood that we want to take it for bad intentions? Like what? What can she know about us? The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy, that you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge, and that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. That's just... I really want to see his face when he finds out that he was wrong about Kokolia. Or maybe we find out we're wrong? Okay, I want to see my face too. Forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokolia is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold... You should uphold it to the very end. Well said. Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silvermane Guard restricted zone. 
In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood games, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. And all our combat end in a win. Because rules are meant to be broken. Well, they're not bad. That's what this game is about. Well, that hurt. But check out the irony. I'm fighting Jepard with Jepard. Pity. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return! By the way, did you get Locha when it was his banner? I mean, he's so useful and he heals amazingly. So, did you get him? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm gonna record all my journey from start to end. Rules are made to be broken. That's what I just said, you copied me. Time to settle your <laughs> So Big Bro is getting beat up by his little sister. That hurts twice as much. Allow me to see you off. <laughs> Both physically and emotionally. No Mostly emotional damage. Nothing major. In the name of Landau. Yes, protect me, my enemy. We shall never fall. Nice. Distance is futile. Well, the game decided to get stuck for a moment. I just can't handle how strong I am, I guess. Is over. But it's gonna be over soon. We don't need you to. We don't want you to yield your force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours. It's our balls and Rania's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Jepard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. <sighs> There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Main Guard, 
I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. Well, but Lady Branya is the commanding officer for the front line. According to military protocols, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Thank you. That's a smart choice you've made. <laughs> For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Balabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Belabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. You're not lying. I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. I wish I had Zila, but I started playing after her banner, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to wait for the rerun. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people... I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the Snow Plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. Thanks for the jade. That was nice. Let's continue. the restricted zone gate is opened the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force the guards will do their best at solving and buy you some time once you've broken through the front line there's nothing more we can do for you you'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the northern fragment zone have you made up your mind we are ready understood keep your weapons close guards open the gate Dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation! <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't. For Universal Peace. Here That's the go. main goal. Heal yourselves! Any of my moves can you block? Strike with heart. This is our chance. So we haven't heard anything about Branya yet, and I'm pretty worried about her. Rules are made to be broken. Sleep is not a dead return. How many can you block? How many okay, the third wave. Nothing we can't handle. That was a good attack.
Are there going to be more? What's happening? I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. We'll have reassembled soon. I have to. Hey, Mr. Silvermane. Listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <sighs> Outsiders. Zila. The second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Sirval, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. It's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Well, that's dashing. Get hold of the Stellaron before Cotolia realizes what's happening. Well, we're gonna try. Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. I think that she's going to take a picture even if it's deadly dangerous. Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Urelo 6. Okay, so they're ju just trying to see what's happening? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's make the memories of this expedition for them. So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Elon or Eminator-level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little... off-site assistance. How is that gonna work? What's an off-site assistance? Okay, genuinely, I didn't want to know spoilers, but I really don't mind when I see some. Like, it's not the end of the world or anything. Is this the fragmentum Jepard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Belavog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. This place makes my flesh crawl. Like there... With no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron, we'll just have to advance gradually and cautiously. Why can't we just use Findy? Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. I'm curious. I'm with you. Oh, look! Up ahead on the ground. What is that? Be careful. Do it twice before you interact with anything in the fragmentum. Well, just in case, I'm gonna use some of their abilities. Let's wait and see. This is Ronya. What is that? Right, she must be. This can't be a coincidence. It 
isn't them. It must be a kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Okay, so I think what's happening here is that we like see what happened in the not so far past. Like what she showed her and uh, they're not there anymore. Are there echoes doing anything? Tell me what this place is, mother. Seven hundred years ago, this was Belabog's northern border and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main guards in resistance against the Leech. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Ronnie. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Uh, Mother, do you truly believe this Dalaran's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It and yet, the crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction sooner. What? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle lives guarding this wasteland you and i will witness the new world rise from the ruins no. well i think that's just i don't know this is a not worth mechanism. it how did they get past ah, i knew this wouldn't be simple oh wait wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty area let's I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... 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 There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It worked, right? But the gate didn't... Are there other... Oh, I have to go look for look, over there. more. I think oh, I see it too. Well, I got stuck a little, so he ambushed us. I just love Jupiter's shield. It absorbs almost yeah. anything. Oh, that's a complex one. This one doesn't move. Is it just me or is it taking like a really long time?
Didn't it say wait for instructions? Oh, so he's going there, but I have no way to go there. Okay, we're gonna leave it be. Well, this sucks because I tried to avoid the battle, but we're gonna have to. I mean, if you want to die, creatures, you're gonna die. It was your death wish. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Next time we're just gonna directly attack. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? Oh, I think I'm gonna leave. Not the one. This is the one we're looking for. And we need two more, right? Yeah. Let's look for them. Did you hear that? This mech come on, let's find the next one. Where is There's no switch? I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now, we're deep okay. in the Fragmentum's heart. So, yes, I think we're gonna have to, like, change that thing. Like, spin this bridge or whatever it's called. Oh, wait, but how am I supposed to leave? Alright, so this one is like really far. Let's turn it again. Still blocked. Okay. Right, so that wasn't the controller we need. Well, we started turning clockwise. We're gonna continue this. And let's leave. Huh. What is this? Alright, so there's a lot to read here, it just ex explains what it is, like, scientifically. Okay, new function in the game. Nice. I'm gonna check it out later. But now we're gonna continue the story. I'm with you. Well, no choice. But I was <laughs> too late again. Sorry guys, I'm pretty slow today. But I promise it'll be better next time. Let's let them out of battle. Now about what 
Miss Cocolia said. I think she doesn't even believe herself. I mean, if the Frogmentum, the Stellaron, whatever the thing is that talked to her was, promised her that this planet would live, why did it freeze it? Why did it cause such a bad state? And cost so many lives? Okay, so just one more. Success! Another mechanism shut down. I want to ask you a question. Ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. But what is it for? Why now? <laughs> Okay, so this wasn't a good idea to play and get here at like 3 a.m. But I'm gonna survive. It's 3 a.m. when I'm recording this because I just couldn't sleep today. Well, this is merely speculation. But perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Cocolia from the one in your body resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Cocolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Rana, beat Cocolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. I'm with you, Zilla. 100%. Is this the last one we need? No, we already got that. Uh, is this right? If you want to get to the other side, we need to rotate it again. This doesn't look right. Let's try again. I don't know, let's try this. No. This isn't good. One more time. Wait. I can't leave. Okay, let's try something else. Well, no, we got no way of teleporting there. I mean, is there another device to rotate? I'll try a few more times because something didn't look right, I probably missed.
Wait, so how did we get there the first time? No, it's not from here. Well, I admit, I'm lost. Let's try one more time. What happens if we turn it not clockwise? I mean, it's not gonna be any different, right? Yeah, it's the same structure, like... We can't go in a straight line. How... How did we get here? Seriously. Well, I think it's time that we leave it be. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you in my next video. 